Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, me and my family member will be cooking a dish known as citron fish. As you can see from this delicious fish in this video, I can say spiciness is just very mild. So you guys don't have to worry, but if you insist to make your dish to be more spicy, you can um, later on in the video, you can see which kind of ingredients you can add on. So let's get into the video on how to prepare this dish. So guys, first of all, you gotta cut off the fish tail, the fins, every single part of it, which is the side of it. I mean like those fins, tail, all you know, the rings on top of its head. Just slice it off with your scissors or anything that is sharp enough to take it off and you're good to go and we can begin the next step. Now, let's make a butterfly cutting for this fish before we apply the rest of the ingredient. And after that, we add salt inside the meat of the fish, the flesh. Spread it widely, thoroughly. Spread all the salt, not too much, not too less, just nice. Now, let's apply soy sauce inside the flesh of the fish thoroughly as before now we're gonna apply oil into the flesh of the fish so this to avoid it from sticking onto a pan if you because we're gonna bake this in the oven for 20 celsius in about 20 minutes all right now we're gonna apply chili flakes on both sides of the fish Alright guys, after you've done putting your chili flakes on the flesh of the fish on both sides, make sure you spread it apart widely on the flesh with your hands. Now we're going to be chopping some garlics, or you chop your garlics as usual guys. Just remember to slam your garlics for a little bit so you make it flat and it'll be easier for you guys to chop. And but before chopping it, you can also peel it easier too. And now we're gonna be have some ginger. We chop finely, as before the garlic too. They must be chopped finely for garlic and ginger. So before you chopping your ginger, remember to peel up all the skins. So 
and also wash it remember after you peeling it make it look clean and nice Once you have done peeling off all the ginger skin, then you may begin to chop it finely guys. Before you begin to chop the ginger finely, remember to make it slices slices so it can lay down flat and you guys can chop them easily and perfectly. Yes, we almost done. We almost there, guys. We have chopped our garlics. We have chopped our ginger. Now we're gonna proceed chopping slices, thin slices for our potatoes. Alright guys, now don't forget about the fish, we gotta heat it up about 100 celsius and about 20 minutes. Okay, now we're gonna stir fry the garlics until there will be fragrance for it. Same goes for the ginger as well. We gotta add some ground pepper in the ginger and garlics. Once you can smell the fragrance, we can begin to add this dry chili. But before you adding this dry chili, just cut it into square slices, and before after that only you drop them into the wok. And after you have the fragrance for all dry chili, garlic, ginger, all of it, now we're gonna add uh, two tablespoons of fish chilies in fish chili paste into the wok. After we give a few more movements of stir frying of all these spices, we can now add 1.2 liter of water into the wok. All right now. Remember that not to add too much water into the wok because we may not know our wok can withstand how much water as we might fly it up. So while we cook it, at the same time we pour portion by portion, not to all at once. Remember to add in a cube of chicken stock and one teaspoon of sugar into the spices. Once we have added all the ingredients, we can close back the lid and let it cook for 10 minutes. 
and don't forget to add in your potato slices into this dish here not only your potato you can add veggies vegetables and some noodles just the rest meals into this dish okay after you've put your arrangement of your potatoes veggie the rest of the noodles you can bring your fish that baked in the oven earlier put on top of this pot and add in your spices gravy as well.